Welcome back to another edition of Jared Stumbles Through, and today we're back on the Wii U, and we're going to play a game that I called in 2014, I believe is when this came out. That sounds about right, yeah. The best game of 2014. We're going to play Shovel Knight, so I'm going to hit the A button and launch this thing. Which I hope worked. Okay, it did. Shovel Knight is great. <laughs> That's pretty much like a lot you get to say about this. Like everything about it is just fantastic. Gameplay is fantastic. Music's fantastic. The design's fantastic. Oops. I'm gonna start the game. Uh, so I have like a little save slot where I kind of like messed around with this. Mostly, mostly I played this game on the 3DS, which seems real weird, but it totally worked on that system. And it, basically, I think it's out everywhere now. So whatever you have, you can pretty much pick up a copy of this game. Done. Also, this thing does have amiibo support, but I don't necessarily understand how you use it. <laughs> it's the only bad thing. I think you do that with, like, co-op and stuff, but... Long ago, the land was untamed and owned by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone, shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. Spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress in her quarter of no, no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. playing. Oops. Oh. Right. Let's do that. So this is pretty much like standard, you know, 16-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit platforming fare. With also some degrees of difficulty uh, introduced as well. As you'd expect from a game like this. But it controls is amazing. So, I mean, it's, it's hard, but like, it's stuff you can, it's stuff you can, you can get through. Like, nothing ever really feels There's a checkpoint. There's also like achievements, or I guess I think I think it's called the game, but like it's like oh, get through a level without even breaking all the checkpoints, so like they never activate. You know, just interesting stuff like that. This game also does have some DLC that I've yet to actually, I never played when it came out, so, you know, we should be able to do that in this playthrough, hopefully. I should be able to, you know, find out what that DLC is all about. Get out of your skull head. You see me breaking, trying to go for wall, trying to break walls all the time? It's because there's that, you can break walls. You know, 
like hidden secrets and a bunch of stuff in there. If you can find one. Oops. Okay. Oops. The slimes though, those aren't the fun hidden secrets you want. And oh yeah, on the gamepad I have like all my equipment stuff. So I have like relics, gear, and then a diary. Which is basically just, hey, do you want to post on the Miiverse? We'll choose that spooky skull guy. Scary. So you see that note, or the note? That's a note for some reason. That is a song we can turn in at the hub world. Over there. Oop. Give me more gold. game. It's the way to get help. And there should be like some stuff like just, you know, hidden in all these blocks. We also killed this thing. Another checkpoint point. Turn this volume down to just in case it's like a little too loud. And like you just couldn't hear me for the past seven minutes. That could have been bad. Uh can't go that way. So time this. Point. I didn't make that jump. Well, I better hope I make this jump now. That could have been real bad. Alright, so... Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. And another music sheet. Let's go wait for these to respawn. Ladder be on our way. Oh gosh! Skeleton man! He scared me. I hate when the skeleton guy scares me. Alright. Oh, There's actually a. Always gotta be looking for secrets. They are everywhere. Checkpoint. Dragon's too scary. Ow. 
I want him to be like over that gap and like have all that stuff just fall into the into nothingness so. Hoop! I love knockback. No I don't. Oh gosh. That could be a little tricky. Nope. Got it. Should we go left? We should go left. Point. Treasure chest. So much gold, except not really. <laughs> I guess I could just make that jump normally, but it doesn't hurt to. We have we don't have that much life. There we go. Get that get that wall chick in there. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stay between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. <laughs> See, the one good thing about this game is that all their their wall chickens, they just they put in like those platters, so it's not like it's just been an, a, a chicken in a wall for like, you know, oops, for how many years? Ow! Of course, if I was better, there's a way to do that without getting hit, obviously. But hey, we got hit three times. That's that's pretty good, I'll say. Later. Also, isn't Black Knight like a pinball machine that has like some dope soundtrack to it? Pretty sure that's, that's the case. I was gonna, you know, chill by the campfire and take a nap. Oh no! Catch her. I ran into her, does that count? Remember kids, put out your fire when you're leaving a camp a campsite. And here's our world map. So the village is the hub world for this area. I do believe there's another one as well. Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Cause no trouble. <laughs> 